Hi everyone, my name is uh, Nick Decker. I write the blog Breakfast with Nick. Uh, you can call me Dr. Breakfast because I do actually have a PhD and I like breakfast. So uh, I'm fortunate to get to chat with Kevin Crowley, who's the owner and creator of the Locks Bagel Shop here in Short North. And uh, I'm excited to learn just about kind of what you do and why, why you do it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so how was it that you landed on a bagel shop as your concept? Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. If you know my uh, background, it's built more in high-end food, out in California, kind of dinner-focused service yeah. to restaurants. Uh -huh. And uh, funny enough, the idea came from my wife, who went to Miami. Okay. And she would eat at Miami Bagel Deli all the time. Ah, okay. Uh, kind of, you know, geared a little bit more towards the uh, drug <laughs> I would have thought bagels would be that. But. Yeah, right? And uh, I never really considered this a viable option. Okay. But then we started a family. We have uh, two little boys. And we were traveling a lot with my old job. I was fortunate to go see some places and notice the resurgence of Jewish food. And oh, bagels, yeah. And artisan yeah. bread. And, you know, just that kind of artisan product. That yeah. You kind of. The wheels started turning, it started being a valid concept. The hours work for my family life on home. Good point. Um, which is pretty amazing, and we can still put a lot of the technique and, and the uh, quality of the ingredient and care into the food that I would have in a, in a different kind of restaurant in, okay. in this kind of more casual way. Nice. nice. And where, where does, I know there's different styles of bagels out there between yeah. like New York style, like Montreal style, where sure. does the Lox Bagel Shop It's a fall? great question because I think a majority of people that have ever eaten a bagel, which is like everyone, yeah. are so <laughs> used to the New York style bagel. Yeah, yeah. The big, thick, chewy. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like uh, everybody, that's the kind of default. Yeah. Um, we definitely stray from that. We are more of the Montreal style okay. than New York, even though I kind of call us a cross between the two. Yeah. Uh, Montreal style and kind of our style, they're a little bit smaller, the hole's a little bit wider. Okay. Slightly denser with a little sweetness from the boil process. Okay. Um, whereas the New York, uh, they are also boiled, but they're a little puffier, a little softer. Yeah. Um, you know, more again, like I said, the traditional. Okay. Uh, take a three-day fermentation process and walk in. Oh wow. Uh, okay. Boiled in malt syrup, which gives it a little bit of sweetness and some nice exterior color. Interesting. Uh, okay. And then fire it in the uh, live fire oven that you can maybe see behind us. Okay. Um, that gives it's really distinct kind of like char. Okay. So we fell in love with that style because it lends itself very well to sandwich making as well. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, which is really what um, we're, we're, we're very proud of our bagels, obviously, but really proud of the sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. And do you have a personal favorite flavor? Uh, it's like bagel? My, my favorite kid kind of question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really, depending on what I'm going to eat, uh, I. I, I Preach to as many people as I can get converted to the sesame bagel as possible. Yeah, that's a little good sesame. Yeah, particularly yeah. with that Montreal lean, that's really what the Montreal style inhibits. It's a, it's a sesame based bagel. Okay. Not. Okay. Uh, but that with our, our locks that we're smoking and carrying in the house, or even our tuna salad, like, you know, it turns out 2,000 years of history of pairing uh, sesame and locks <laughs> and fish together is pretty great. It's uh, <laughs> but if I'm getting a pastrami on everything, is awesome. And yeah. cheese on the salt and everything yeah. is pretty special too. Nice. Uh, so yeah, it's, they're all great, but I, I need sesame. I mean, okay. Most, but, all right, cool. Yeah. And then um, last, kind of giving your background, you were a partner in North Star Cafe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did that experience and things you learned there, how did that sort of inform how you approach this job? Yeah, it's it's invaluable. They, uh, I spoke a little bit earlier about my, my past, uh, you know, yeah. in the world of yeah. food. Uh, they were able to show me the bridge between those quality standards and okay. sourcing and treating your people right yeah. and really having relentless standards, uh, but still going into the cafe and okay. more and more fast casual environment where okay. you can sort of build your community and, and really encourage uh, growth for everybody. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the finances came a bit from them. Sure. Not them personally, but right. earnings from yeah, them. Yeah. Um, yeah, the learning, there's still mentors of mine, I still love that's them. Great. With that thing. And, uh, that's great. They, they got us basically this one exists without them. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Um, so where can people find the Lox Bagel Shop? Yeah, so right in the heart of downtown, uh, Short North, uh, 772 North High Street, right under the beautiful new mural that uh, yeah. they just built on the, the Graduate Hotel. Graduate hotel. Nice. We have free parking in the Short North, which is <laughs> its own unique. That's where that's where Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's the last free parking in the Short North. Right. Awesome. Thank you.
Thanks so much for chatting. Yeah, of course. All right.